outside the shooting, the killing, the, the fire engines, it was something awful. Until night, it got quiet, it got dark, and we could hear everybody moving out of the area. They, they had three gardens, and one little garden still stands there, and my father planted the trees, and the apples are still growing on these trees. And I was standing in front of that fence, and I froze to the ground. And I, all of a sudden, I was transformed into my childhood. And I saw it vividly. I saw myself. I was running and laughing. And I was happy. And I was skipping rope and dancing. And my cousins and my brother and my grandparents. I could smell the fish and the hala. And I could hear my, my uncles and my aunts. And I could see the weddings and the funerals and the birds. And everything came back to me. And I just couldn't move from that ground. It was raining. It was a miserable day. And my heart was so, so troubled, so hard. And we arrived to Warsaw. It was a beautiful day. And uh, as we were driving through the street, she says, gee, how beautiful. The streets are so wide and clear air, fresh, the flowers, the trees. And when she said, it's beautiful, I felt something turn inside of me. And I said, I don't want you to love it, never. You are going to feel what I feel. It was here once and it's gone. They wiped it out. And I want you to know and tell your children's children what it was like what kind of life we had, and it's all gone. They took it away from us. It will never happen again. But I decided that since that time that I came back from Poland, that this story is history, and I don't want that it should die together with me. And I tell them what happened, and I also tell them not to forget and not to be ignorant to because history has a way of repeating itself